Hi, it's Amanda. Welcome to my channel. I'm popping in for a really quick video because it is day two of my twist out and time to put my hair up. I was thinking about letting it ride for another day, but what's the point in coming up with a plan for the winter if I'm not going to follow it? My hair still feels amazing. This is the, this is day two of the Yamini Essentials twist out. Yeah. I'm going to be posting all these videos in case I end up with a good style. I am continuing with the scarf styles because I just like the idea of protecting my hair with silk. Relatively simple, I'm going to do a braid going back this way, braid going back this way on either side, and then at the back I'm going to do two or three buns depending on how much hair is there, and then I'm just going to join the two buns or like connect the two buns with a satin scarf. My reason for that is because there is going to be hair sticking out of the bun because <laughs> by design of a bun. And I just want that hair to be covered, and why not covered in silk? Bo Peep Luxuries at Hair Growth Oil. I'm just gonna put this on my hands, three sections, and I'm just gonna braid towards the back. And it looks like I'm doing a French braid, which is the strands going over the middle instead of under. I'm gonna pick up hair as I go back, and literally just going to secure it. Three sections. I hope you're not looking at what I'm doing trying to learn how to braid. <laughs> oh man, this looks so clumsy. Because it is. That's the thing, you don't have to be a good braider in order to get a braid done. Because I do know how to braid, and my braids end up looking like braids. I mean, they could probably look better, but they could probably also look worse. I don't think I'm liking this part that's... Oof. So much for high density. I do have some pretty um, drastic parts sometimes, but I still feel like my hair is pretty high density. But I guess, I mean, it's not, or at least it's not everywhere. Secure this section as well. If I wasn't gonna be wearing a headband, I would probably do something about that part. We'll see what the headband does in the end. I'm burning up in this thing, hold on a second. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side and then I'll come back to finish up the style because I want to watch some TV. Everything is braided. I don't know what it's going to do for you, but see what it's looking like in the back. So now I am very simply going to just make, let's see how many buns. I'm going to use my disposable hair ties. I'm going to wrap it probably once and then I'm going to tie the scarf. I would say with pretty much probably all of my styles, I could benefit aesthetically from using a, what's it called? An edge control, but I don't do edge control, that kind of stuff. My hair is frizzy at the top because that's just a property of my hair and I'm not going, I don't want to apply gels and all that kind of stuff to slick it down because it's just not that, it's not important enough to me. So this is the first section. So I wrapped it once, now I'm just gonna do the bun. So I'm just bringing it through just so the bottom is sticking out. So that's the first bun. All right, so I'm gonna start a little bit lower down. Grab another section and secure it, the third section on the bottom. They're getting smaller and smaller. Okay, so I've got my three buns, got this, and I'm going to tie it around the top of the hair, because this is supposed to be protective. All right, now I'm just gonna tie it like you would tie just like anything. Now I'm going to crisscross it on the bottom and tuck it underneath the next one and tie it, and then do the same thing with the third one. Crisscrossing it also helps to create like a vise and join them closer together the three and on the bottom I'm just going to tie it again to secure it and then I'll either let it hang or let it drape. Will depend on my mood. It's pretty cute so far. I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Here is the style. Probably just gonna leave this out. It's fun like this. Am I not having two or three identical scars? is a little bit of an issue right now because I have two different colors back here and then I'm gonna put a headband in the front 
which is three colors in my head. So just imagine they all look the same. This chair is really squeaky. Here we go. This looks crazy because of all of the different colors. The point of these hairstyle videos is because I am going to try to do something at least slightly distant, different every single week because throughout the winter and fall, I am going to try to protect my hair by putting it up. I am recording these videos in case something looks nice just to even inspire you if you don't particularly love the end result. I know that at least my scarf hairstyle from a couple weeks ago inspired someone else to do a better job than me. <laughs> um, but you know, it, it, gave, it gave her an idea. So I'm gonna keep doing this. Maybe you can expand on what I'm doing and make something that looks better. And I am gonna get some identical scarves. So, you know, better chance of these things actually looking nice. I don't know if I hate this. I don't, I don't dislike it. I don't dislike this. I think it's just that my shirt is like really boring and it's like a cute, fun hairstyle. So it's just like this next to this. It's just not, it's not the thing. Here's a side. I think it's pretty fun. And again, with the headstand, with the headband, I think it's just, I like it. All right, well, that brings me to the end of this video. If you like my content and haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll talk to you in my next one. Thanks, and have a good one.